Hello everyone, this is Birno here again with Planeswalkers, currently sitting with Sarah, who was a recent participant in our vanilla-only build competition world event. During this event, she built her Elder Portal Hub, and today we're sitting with her doing a little short interview to get to know a little bit more about her. Hello Sarah, how are you? I'm good, Bjorno. How are you? Not bad, doing great. It is the weekend, so it's nice to get a little break. I hope that always, you're enjoying always. your weekend. I am. I am actually. Thank you very much. Sun's shining and looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Amazing. Uh, do you want to let the people know who are new to either Vanilla Only Build Competition or are not familiar with you a little bit about yourself? Um, well, uh, I found out about Planeswalkers um, by being on a server called Brainheim. There's a gentleman who plays over there, goes by WSR, took first place in the competition. Um, and he has been talking to me for a while about Planeswalkers and he's invited me a few times to come join and I finally decided this was the time to come join. So the first thing I noticed when I look at your build was the raised ground. Uh, I know that that was part of the plan. Did it work out in execution? It did. Um, we flattened out this area and so the the pillar the ground that i raised on the inside of this pillar was a little bit lower um i was concerned that it might cause some structural differences but it all worked out well in the end and uh you know it creates this wonderful area for me to build in down here with the garden so now that we've transitioned upstairs on your two level portal hub Let's just briefly go over a little bit of the inspiration behind the name you chose. You called the build the Elder Portal Hub. Can you explain where you got the name and how it applies to your build? Well, I first built a uh, structure similar to this on top of the pillars for the Elder Altar. And so I started calling it the Elder Portal Hub because I had another portal hub in the same world. So I wanted to distinguish between the two portal hubs that I had. And it, that also was the inspiration as to why it's raised, because it creates that wonderful effect um, when it's built on top of the pillars. And I wanted to carry that over into a building that was on the ground. So I still called it the same name because of where the inspiration for the build came from. So my favorite part of your build was that beautiful chandelier. Can you let the folks at home know how you made it happen? Um, it's actually a lot more simple than you might think. Um, so you're going to start with a beam down from your ceiling and you're going to take your one meter beam and you're going to attach it to the bottom of that um, beam hanging down and you're going to do one rotation until you have a full circle and then you take a diverger lantern and you snap it and it does snap um, to the end of the beams using the alternate snap point. So you're not going to put it uh, with the original snap point. You'll switch it to attach. And then you just attach one to each of the beams. And then for the one that I've got here, I took out the beams on the top so it leaves it open at the, at the very top of the lantern. I do have a video on it, um, if anybody's curious. I will put that video up on the screen now. Go and check out Sarah's video on how to do her chandelier. So this was your very first build competition ever, including Planeswalkers. Do you have any tips for any newbies who may be interested in joining the build competition or just curious at what it's like to build during a contest? Um, so it was my very first build competition like ever um, and anyone. And I'm actually really glad that I was able to join on Planeswalkers because everybody that I met and interacted with to this point on Planeswalkers has been absolutely phenomenal, super friendly, and very um, helpful in their in their advice or, you know, just 
generally setting things up for me. And um, so I would tell anybody that was interested in joining the Planeswalkers build competitions, just relax. Everybody here is great and you're just going to have a good time. Um, if you're going to do a competition, make sure you practice, practice, practice. Um, two hours might sound like it's a long time, but when you're in the middle of a build, it really goes so fast. <laughs> do you draw any inspiration for builds from anything in real life? Like, do you find yourself like driving down the road and seeing a, a building and being like, ooh, that would look cool in Valheim? Absolutely, I do. Um, I have always been a big fan of uh, architecture as a, a, a kind of like a canvas. Um, you know, like if you look at today's buildings, there's a lot of like very flat surfaces and very sleek and, you know, clean lines. But if you look at some of the old um, architecture, like in Italy or in Greece, the amount of artisan work that was involved in those buildings is amazing that they were able to create those beautiful pieces of artwork um, with relatively primitive tools. And um, so I'm very inspired by architecture and I do oftentimes like see a shape or, or a, you know, something with depth that just inspires me to try something similar in the game as close as I can get it. One of the hardest things to add to a build is depth. Do you have any advice for new builders on how to get that pop in their build? Um, I would say first, watch some videos. Um, there are some phenomenal builders out there who actually have videos on how to add depth to your build. Um, uh, Smitty Survival has a great one on how to do just a basic house. Um, and how to add depth to your windows and your walls so that they're not flat. Uh, Versaw, JJ Builder has some beautiful builds that you could get inspiration from. Basic Builder will walk you through some of the processes for getting those um, depth of builds and just play with it. Like try different pieces together and try different snap points and see if you can just put them together in a way that adds that depth that you're trying to create. So everyone was really impressed with your attention to detail and your creative process. Have you always been a builder? Can you go over a little bit about what that process is like for you? So I tend to kind of build by what kind of mood I'm in at the time that I'm building. Um, I've built a few of these elder altars or elder portal hubs and um, they never come out the same. And that's because I'm not always in the same frame of mind. So I just kind of build with the way it feels. Like, does that look good to me today? Is that striking a fancy for me today? And, um, you know, I, I've been building now in Valheim, doing a lot of like creative, just seeing how pieces go together. And I'm always finding new ways to put the pieces together. And it changes like I said, with my mood as to how I put them together that particular day for that particular build. So do you have any history of gaming? What were some of your favorite titles? You know, I didn't grow up as a kid with gaming. Um, when my children got old enough to really be interested in computer games, um, we did play a little bit. Uh, I think the very first video game or computer game that I ever played was a game called Wolfenstein and absolutely terrified me. I thought that was so scary. But um, I played uh, a little bit of Baldur's Gate, uh, very beginning Baldur's Gate, not the new stuff. It's very different now. Um, Icewind Dale, also very beginning. World of Warcraft at the very beginning. Um, Age of Empires, those kind of games. Um, and then recently I started playing, uh, well, before I started playing Valheim, I played a game called Diablo 3. So when I was kind of at a point with Diablo 3 where it wasn't progressing any further, my son suggested to me that I try this game. He thought I might really like it. And um, I haven't looked back. I've got 6,200 plus hours in the game now, and I am not bored with it at all. So I'll stay here until I'm bored with it. <laughs> 
All right, so that concludes our interview today with Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, for sitting with me today. Thank you for having me. And of course, I want to invite you to Vanilla Only Build Competition 3 Obstacle Course. I am looking forward to it. Thank you, everybody, for also sitting with us today and getting to know Sarah and to learn a little bit more about her and her build process. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye.